We all know how much I love out of sync tactics. So we got another one today. Let's check it out. This one is called Principal Agent 9000s33112 by McCormick. Uh, there is no description whatsoever on the page, unfortunately. So I have absolutely no idea what team he created this for. As you can see, it is such a funky shape. I absolutely love it. I want to call it asynchronous, but is it? I don't really know. It just comes so completely out of whack. But we will go over the tactic at the end of the video like we usually do. First up, we're going to try out and see what happens with our Premier League teams of Liverpool and Aston Villa. And then we hit Ipswich Town in the Championship. So, with that said, let's head to the Premier League. Now, asynchronous tactics where they're kind of just off-aligned, dude, I mean, they often work. But this time around, not so much. I mean, again, is this an actual asynchronous tactic? It's just a funky shape. But Liverpool in third... 94 goals is pretty nice. It looks like your tops of that chart, but 79 points. You definitely could have gotten a few more points, hopefully, if you took control of this yourself. Aston Villa in eighth, yeah, not the greatest for them. 53 points, we've definitely seen higher. 59 goals, we've definitely seen higher there, too. Domestic Cups, they got to the final of the Carabao Cup. Nil two, though, against Arsenal, and you're only runners up. FA Cup semis, not a bad place. Nil one, though, against Man City. But you get to the Europa League final against Sparta Prague. You beat Borussia Dortmund. Fantastic. Napoli, you had a great run up to there. But you beat Sparta Prague 3-2 in the final and you get that trophy. So overall, Premier League, it's okay. Third place, not bad. You get Champions League next season. You do get the Europa League title. Fantastic there. FA Cup, Carabao Cup, runners-up and semifinals, not bad there either. Squad-wise, goals 36 for Mohamed Salah, Nunez with 28. Fantastic job there. You got a couple more in double digits. But, and for some reason, Ryan Gravenberch is on loan at Real San Sebastian. Go figure. But assist-wise, 18 for Simica, 16 for Connor Bradley. Jeez, we've got some weird people playing. But of course, that the shape itself is just odd. Uh, okay, McKellar, of course, 728. But Mohamed Salah with a 725. Well, Liverpool's triumphs show Aston Villa's absolute sheer weakness. Out against Plymouth, one all in penalties again, or in the Carabao Cup fourth round, and then out in the FA Cup third round immediately against Everton. But you don't go away from the season trophyless. You get the Europa Conference League final trophy 2-1 to one in extra times over Marseille. So overall, Premier League, not great. Eighth place is definitely not the place you want to be. However, Europa Conference League, fantastic. And that's your only real shining moment as the FA Cup and Carabao Cup both sucked as well. So Aston Villa squad, you do see some green there, but goals 21 for Zaniolo, Diaby with 16. Not bad. We've seen some hires though. 16 assists for Lucas Dinier. And then average rating, Leon Bailey with three off the bench, but Robin Olsen with six. And then Pau Torres with a 7-10. Jeez. Data hub for Liverpool. They do have the attacking numbers, not the dribbles though. Uh, but we have seen them higher. If you look at the general performance, 2.47 goals per game, 1.06 XG against. And then Aston Villa, they got a couple numbers, I guess. But usually we're used to seeing that a lot higher. Uh, goals per game is 1.55, 1.4 XG against. Eh, that's a lot less than Liverpool had. And of course, Liverpool with 2.08 goal uh, points per game and Aston Villa in eighth with a 1.39. Premier League stats, missing in a couple places, not so much elsewhere. Most goals, Liverpool in second with 94, only one less than Man City. I missed Man City's. Aston Villa not even in the list. Few shots against the Liverpool in fifth with 325. Most possession, Liverpool with 59%. At not too bad, Aston Villa with 57. Best pass completion, Liverpool in third with 90, as does actually Aston Villa has one less than 89. And then most shots for Liverpool in fourth, Aston Villa in fifth. Not too bad. Now, turning our sights to Ipswich Town in the championship, you could see they ended up in fifth place. So they were in the, pro, uh, the playoff promotion spots. Fantastic. 82 points. That is a far distance from Leeds with 94. But 77 goals? Eh, again, we've seen them a lot higher in a lot of these different aspects. But if we take a look at where they dropped out, it was the semifinals. 4-2 against Leeds. Uh, yeah, in aggregate, they just didn't... They, they did okay, but not great. Well, Ipswich Town did a bit better of a job in the Domestic Cups. Carabao Cup third round, 2-5 against Everton. That one hurts. I mean, they probably shouldn't have won that one anyway, but... It's Everton, 2-5. to five. That's a lot of difference. Uh, FA Cup fourth round, 1-4 against Wolves. So all in all, the championship, fifth place, not too bad. Again, you're in the playoffs. Unfortunately, you just didn't make it too far. FA Cup, Carabao Cup, again, as I always say, you're never expected to go too far. You really didn't this time around. 
Squad wise, very little in the green this time around, but 21 goals for Connor Chaplin. Hurst only with 10, only seven starts as usual. I mean, he's he's really having issues, but seven, uh, 18 assists, sorry, for West Burns, and then average rating, West Burns with a 717. Well, a little more spotty for Ipswich Town in the championship stats. Most goals all the way down in seventh with 79. A uh, few shots not there, but both possession, Ipswich Town in fifth with 56%. Best pass completion all the way down in 8th with 89 and most shots for in 5th with 607. But let us take a look at this funky tactic. Sweeper keeper in defend is where you start. A libero on the left in support, a ball playing defender in cover in the center, and another libero in support on the right. Complete wing backs on the left and right in support with an anchor in defend in the middle. A CM in support. And then a Trey Quartista in attack above them, a false nine in support, and then an advance forward in attack above them. It is a very funky shape. I mean, I guess you got some asynchronous there, but mentality is positive. In possession, attack width is fairly wide. Passing directors is shorter. Play out of defense. Uh, tempo is standard. Whip crosses and be more expressive. In transition, counter press, counter, and distribute to the center backs. And then out of possession, a mid block line of engagement, a higher defensive line. Trigger press more often, prevent short goalkeeper distribution, and stop the crosses. Well, how did this do for our three teams? I can't say it did all that great. I mean, you get to the playoffs for Ipswich Town, but unfortunately you lose out. Fifth place is not bad. I will say that. Uh, it's, their media prediction is 10th, but overall, we have seen tactics that have done better for them. Uh, Liverpool, third place. Again, not awful, but you still kind of hope for better a little bit from them. Aston Villa in eighth. Not great. We've definitely seen higher. We expect higher. Uh, media production for them was around 10th or thereabouts anyway. So I think all three teams could have boosted it up a little bit if you took control of this yourself. Definitely put the, you know, tag your players into the tactic itself and kind of figure things out from there from a match perspective and all of that. But in this case, in this sim where I do absolutely nothing but a holiday for the entire season, it didn't work all that well. But that's it for me, 7FM for the Football Manager Blog Channel saying thank you as always for watching. Take care and enjoy.